Hey everyone, it's Jeff with Jeff's Jet Boat, and this video is gonna be for all the internet trolls and all the haters out there on YouTube and Facebook. What we're doing today is I have my two test pilots, test pilot one and test pilot two, and what we're going to do is we're going to measure with this digital scale right here, we're gonna see what puts more force on that wakeboard tower. Is it a tube with two kids? Combined weight is what, 140 pounds? Maybe 150. Man, maybe 150. Um, the tube we're using is the Big Bubba. It's a two-person tube. And we're just gonna pull them around crazy style. Uh, we have the scale. The scale is set up so that it'll register the max amount of load. Um, it's a load cell in pounds. And we're gonna start there and see, uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. All right, kiddos, here we go. So, 18, 19, 25 pounds, 30 pounds, just, just towing it hard, not on plane. We're gonna run this, we're gonna run these girls full power. Is the sun right in your face? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just checked, it's about 30 pounds of force, just with them like this. We're gonna give these girls a whopping time, and uh, we'll see what it does. So here we go. Ready? Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> that was only that was only 98 pounds. That was full slingshot mode. Let's see if we can get it more than that. That's doing 108 that's it just so you can if you can see it I don't know if it's showing up 108 108 that is the maximum that's the maximum that it's recorded so far um, also our engine is super quiet now that we got our pipe insulation on it you girls doing okay all right I'm gonna keep hitting it hard What do we got? I'm hitting it as hard too. 108. Hasn't hasn't budged above 108. As you can see, I'm hitting these girls as I'm whipping them, I'm doing everything I can. Um, it's not going above that. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna reset it. Right on me. Just that little jerk from pulling the line was only 28 pounds. Again, let's see what we got. 57, <laughs> that's it, 57 pounds. Ugh. check before we switch it up to wakeboarding yeah 64 64 pounds so it looks like the max we got was 100 something let's go switch this up for wakeboarding please Allie. okay everybody I'm um, getting ready to go wakeboard behind the boat just in case you guys are curious of what our wake is we have 
750 pound ballast bag of water sitting there. I also have a 400 pounder right there. A couple of kiddos, the wife driving. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna go out there wakeboarding. We'll see what kind of load this does and we'll go from there. See ya. so we just checked it so far it's 70 74.0 so i guess you know so far and that was a pretty good job that i did on it um a pretty good hit with the wake i'm gonna try it one more time and just really crank on it and see what happens i'm gonna go from there Alrighty, so wakeboard, final number, or you ain't gonna be able to see it because the sun, uh, 75. So it's a little bit of a difference. Um, not much, not much at all. So we'll wrap this up here in a moment. Alrighty guys, so we're back from the lake. I'm going through the video right now, getting everything edited. And just wanted to kind of go over uh, what I believe and what I think after doing this little test. Number one, I'm not a scientist. I I'm doing this video for fun. I've always been curious. Uh, I had no idea what the tension strength would be in pounds. If it was going to be 300, 400, and we, you know, we barely hit 100. So there's a 25 pound difference between the wake, me wakeboarding and the girls tubing behind the boat. Uh, here's what I believe, and here's my reasoning on towing the tube from the tower. Number one. You know, everybody says that the, the tube submerges. It's so much stress. I, I get it. it. That makes sense. You know, if if you got kids that want to submarine the tube that lean forward, then you're going to have that issue. Second thing, our tower was made by XTP. It was ordered specifically from Yamaha for the boat. The way the tower attaches to the boat it is reinforced with fiberglass and a metal plate at all four mounting points. Just the same as that little tow hook is. If you go and look and see where that tow hook, the actual lower tow hook that you're supposed to use for towing, go look at how that's mounted and then go look at your tower. It is the exact same material, except you have four additional spots. Now, again, realize you don't have the leverage or the fulcrum effect because the tower is up high. Uh, you know, this is not some cheap Chinese tower that was added on by a couple of guys doing it at their house or paying some um, marina or whatever company to install the tower for them after the fact. The fact that it is braced and reinforced from the factory is a huge difference. Now, if I went and had an aftermarket tower put on, I would not tow from it. I really wouldn't. But these factory towers, my specific factory tower, um, it doesn't bother me. I don't question it. Uh, 
if anybody has ever taught someone how to slalom ski or wakeboard and trying to teach them just how to get up on the wakeboard and how they drag and plow through the water and when they they the the, the tension that is on the rope is so much more than I have ever ever experienced with the girls on the tube. Now I'm not pulling either. I'm not pulling two 300 pounders on that tube as well. Uh, you know, it's a couple of kids. I would put two adults on it and it wouldn't, it would not bother me. Now when I say two adults, I mean two normally sized adults, not two large adults. Um, and that's it. So, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I love the debate. I love how everybody says you can't do this, you can't do that. Also, when you Google, um, can you tow from a tower, typically the only pictures you will find of the towers being ripped off all come from one page, and that's Monster Towers page. And those are the pictures that they have up. I do realize that XTP owns Monster. Um, and, you know, it, it is what it is. It's It's... Look at this video, decide for yourself. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But don't go blasting people because you have no clue at all whatsoever. And that's the whole point. Let people enjoy their fun. Let people do what they want to their boats. If they want to rip the tower off the boats, let them rip the tower off the boats. If they want to pull the little metal screen out of their out of their intake so they can get one horsepower, let them do it. It's their boat. So enjoy, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.